Welcome back to This Life of Ours. This week I am sharing our curriculum choices for the 2017-2018 school year. On Tuesday went up videos for my second graders curriculum and my fourth graders and then also today will be my eighth graders curriculum. So if you haven't already watched those be sure to check them below. There will be a lot of information down in the down bar. Those links will be down there as well as a link to my blog post which will have all the curriculum linked as well as the videos for last year's curriculum so first grade third grade seventh grade uh, those videos will be down in the down bar below too so be sure to check that out before you um, when you're finished watching this also if you are a youtuber and would like to share your video with with your curriculum I will have an open playlist linked below so be sure to go over there and add yours and for those who aren't youtubers go check out that playlist and see what else other people are using next year i'm going to start with our history choices and then i'll do the science we have always done these subjects together um, i've always just kind of adapted to them for to make it work with my kids I will say it's something that I really wanted to do, um, to do it all together. One, because I like that, and two, because it was easier for me. Um, but this year we are going to split. My boys will do theirs together, so for second and fourth grade, and then my daughter will do hers by herself, and I'm rather sad about it, but I'm also really excited about what um, their choices are going to be for next year. Um, for history, we use a story of the world. You probably know this already. I love it. Um, I have a few other videos about story of the world. I will try to link those. I love story of the world. We are starting over back with volume one, ancient times. We, this year we just finished, or we will finish um, the last book. So the boys and I will start back over with that. In addition to the storybook and the activity guide, we will also use All Through the Ages, which is a book that lists literature through the different time periods and um, different topics, beginning with ancient history through modern. This is out of print, but if you can get your hands on a used copy of it, I think it is well worth it, um, the effort to find it. This one is, um, I bought used from someone years ago. They, it just has all kinds of great um, book suggestions. Um, far more than what's even listed in here. So um, we will use that. We will also use this. I showed this in a curriculum haul recently. Um, Mysteries in history. And then we'll also supplement with, of course, literature, different documentaries. My boys really love war, like many boys do. Um, so we will, there's a lot of ancient war type videos that we'll supplement through. So that will be history for the boys, ancient history. Now for Elizabeth, I am designing her history. We've not had a large focus on American history since we've done story of the world but we've incorporated quite a bit and then so for next year I wanted to do American history with her and so I started off with the idea of like 20 events that changed American history that was kind of my original idea it's kind of morphed a little bit but it's still that's still my guiding principle we will cover things like um, the revolution. We will cover, um, you know, those kind of major events, the Civil War, but within each of those we're going to kind of spend one or two days on different topics. So for the Civil War time period, I'm not going to try to go through the whole thing, and um, but we're going to hit highlights like the Emancipation Proclamation and one of her activities will be to memorize it. We will do a week on how food has changed specifically with the invention invent of fast food and convenience foods so she will learn about 
we'll spend a day learning about Ray Kroc and McDonald's. We'll spend a day learning about Thomas Birdseye? I forget his first name. Those kind of events. And even though that's not necessarily what you think of about shaping history, that does. It, you know, it plays into what, how life, why life looks like it does today. I think it's going to be a really great year. I will be putting the details of this up on my blog in the fall, or as the fall approaches, I'm not sure which yet. But I really need to work out all the kinks of it. As for the resources that she'll be using, they'll include things like the History of Us, History Book Series, it's a 10 volume set, 11 volume, I forget which. It's an excellent middle school history resource. There are videos that go along with this on the PBS website, so we will use some of those videos. We'll also use other videos from PBS. I found a couple lesson plans that come, that originate from the National Park websites to go along with some of her topics. So we'll be incorporating a lot of different resources. She'll have an activity, some kind of a evaluation activity with each topic, whether it's, you know, a couple paragraphs or I'm going to ever do a power, a couple of different PowerPoints, that sort of thing. She'll also do, along with that, her geography. We'll tie in with it. She'll be doing a state thing that I already mentioned in, I talked about in eighth grade video. So I'm really excited for her history next year. I think it'll be really excellent once I finish getting all the details put in place. Moving on to science. We follow the classical education model where we do one of the major topics of science each year. Last year was earth science. This year is physics. Next year we will do chemistry. So even though they will do chemistry separately, their sciences separately, they'll both be doing chemistry. For Ben and Matthew, I am going to use elemental sciences chemistry for the grammar stage. That's what it looks like. I'm not sure if this is the most current cover, but we'll, this is what we'll do. We used elemental for earth science two years ago. I really like it, but I did not like the PDF format. So this time I bought the um, printed version that I bought. I bought it used. So this is what it looks like up here. It'll be the plans for the week. They'll tell you what to do each day unless what you're going to need and all. So um, I really like it. We, it uses different books to go along with it. The main activity book that it has is this one, Fizz, Bubble, and Flash. So we will choose a lot from in there. And then it has other books to go with it. To go along with this though, I will use Mr. Q's Science. I have a video on that, so I will link it. Um, and that'll be a spine that I will coordinate um, along with this. Just because I prefer a more textbook format. Elizabeth is doing Guest Hollows Chem Kitchen Chemist Chemistry in the Kitchen, I think is the title of it. I bought it as a PDF, so I don't have it to show you, but I will insert a picture here and the link down below as well. It uses, obviously it's kitchen <laughs> or kitchen chemistry based, and it's a high school level one that's without, that ever touched itself as chemistry without the math. She is using it as an eighth grader, of course. So a lot of the resources that are in there, I'm not going to have her do. There's a lot of them that I'm not going to have her do because they're written for a high school, uh, an adult level, and she's not really ready for that much reading and in, in that depth. So there's a lot that I'm going to be adapting from it, but I am so excited for it. It's going to be a lot of learning why cooking works. There, she'll have a lot of kitchen, like uh, baking experiments and different cooking activities to do. But there's also a lot of learning about why it works that way. Books like What Einstein Told His Cook, which I've listened to actually on Audible, so she'll have the audio version for that. There are several other books, Culinary Reactions and Napoleon's Buttons, which talks about molecules that change the world. Those kind of resources, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There are also some different printable activities from online. She's um, compiled several 
different YouTube videos and such. So I think it's going to be a great year for Elizabeth. I really wanted her eighth grade year to be a lot of fun for her since that's kind of the last year before you have to get serious with high school. And I think both her history and science are really going to be a lot of fun for her. There are our history and science choices for next school year. Like I said, be sure to check out the down bar because there will be a lot of information down there. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below. If I missed any links or anything, just give me a comment below. And I'd love to know what your history and science is going to look like next year. Are you using something new? Going with your old standby? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching.